The Endo Markap is a multi-use disposable water bottle system. After assembly, each unit is sealed in a Tyvek pouch and sterilized using ethylene oxide. Each pouch consists of one smart cap and a date and time sticker to be filled out upon opening of the package. All smart caps are purchased by the box, shown here with 10 units in each box. The smart cap is designed around the predicate reusable water bottle, which is offered by the various scope manufacturers. Seen here is an Olympus water bottle which is designed to be used in conjunction with the sterile water and any Olympus scope which is 140 series or newer. Next to it is an Olympus smart cap prepared in conjunction with the sterile water bottle. Even though one version is reusable and the other disposable, both products perform the same task providing air and water for an endoscopic procedure. The water bottle holder is a required accessory when utilizing the smart cap technology. Normally, the water bottle holder clips onto the cart or processor in the same location as your Olympus or Fujinon reusable water containers. For some carts, however, overhead space is sometimes compromised. If you're using a 1000 milliliter bottle, the clearance can sometimes be tight. For these issues, each water bottle holder comes with an extension clip. To attach, use a Phillips head screwdriver, unscrew the screws holding the original clip in place. Make sure not to lose the two screws as they will be used again shortly. Fully remove the original clip and place to the side. Next, with the original screws, attach the new extender clip to the processor. Once nicely tightened, you are now ready to attach the water bottle holder. Note this is not a permanent change and the original connector can be reattached if needed. The daily setup for an Endo Smart Cap is relatively simple. To start, you will need one Smart Cap in its sealed pouch and an unopened bottle of sterile water. After you have your supplies, you will need to open the sterile water bottle. Next, you will need to pour out a small amount of sterile water into a basin. This accomplishes two things. One, you need to create a small pocket in the top of the water bottle for the processor to be able to create enough air pressure within the water bottle. This gives you a basin of water to test your scope's functionality before starting the procedure. After you have done so, take the smart cap out of its pouch ensuring that you don't touch the insertion tube to maintain sterility. Screw on the smart cap to a sterile water bottle tightly to create a snug, airtight seal. Please note that there are two smart cap sizes with a cap designed to fit small thread and large thread sterile water bottles. You'll need to contact your sales agent to make sure you have the right smart caps for your specific water bottles. After the smart cap is snugly tightened, take out the sticker in the pouch and fill out the date and time you open the pouch seal. Then place the sticker around the smart cap tubing. This will ensure that everyone will know exactly how long this cap has been in use. The Endo Smart Cap for Olympus Scopes is designed to be used with all GI scopes from 100 series to today's 180 series scopes. After connecting the blue water bottle holder which clips on the same as the reusable water bottle, place a sterile water bottle along with the Smart Cap next to the processor. Next, take the distal tip and push it slowly onto the air water connector of the scope. Note that the smart cap can go directly on unlike the reusable water bottle. Once it is securely fashioned to the scope, turn on the processor and light source. After you have connected the smart cap to the scope, you will need to take the scope to do a quick test. Take the original water basin refilled with water and submerge it in the distal tip of the scope. First cover the ear button with your finger and check for bubbles in the water. If bubbles are present, everything is working properly. Next bring the tip of the scope out of the water and depress the water button. After a few seconds, you should see a small stream of water running across the lens. Finally, submerge the tip in the water again, this time depressing the suction button. Listen for a sucking sound and watch the water levels. If the water level is lowering, then the suction function is operating properly. After a case is finished, turn off the processor and light source first. Next, you will need to press in the pin clip. This will help in eliminating a siphon effect and keep water from dripping onto the floor. Without touching the distal tip, clip the smart cap tubing to the sticky clip provided by your sales agent. Once your next scope has been brought in, simply reconnect the smart cap to the scope, unpinch the pitch clip, turn back on the processor and light source. Now you're ready for your next case. Disposing of the smart cap is one of the easiest features of the technology. 
follow the normal removal directions. However, when you are finished for the day, or 24 hours has arrived, take the smart cap and the water bottle it is attached to and discard it appropriately. Included in the smart cap family is the ability to use CO2 versus normal air. When using a CO2 smart cap, simply lure lock your CO2 smart cap to your CO2 connection. The smart cap CO2 is equipped with a one-way valve which will only allow the gas to flow in one direction and pressurize the bottle. With the Pentax processor, its design requires two connections rather than one. First, take the plastic white connector and connect it to the air pipe on the side of the Pentax processor. Then, take the scope connection of the smart cap and connect it to the circular air water connector on the Pentax scope. When using the CO2 smart cap with Pentax scopes, you connect the smart cap to the scope the same way. However, one difference is, instead of connecting the plastic connector to the air pipe next to the processor, you will use the CO2 lure lock diversion and connect it to your CO2 source. With Fujinon scopes, the connector is a circular design that you push onto the scope, then turn clockwise, locking it into position, as seen here. For Fujinon scopes with CO2, connect the Fujinon smart cap to the scope the same as the normal air smart cap. Next, lure lock your CO2 tubing to the blue lure CO2 connector on the smart cap. When troubleshooting the smart cap, the first thing to check is to make sure you have enough of a pocket of air at the top of the water bottle. Next, you need to ensure that the smart cap has a tight seal onto the sterile water bottle. Lastly, you should check to make sure the pinch clip has been released and is not pressing onto the tube lumens.